Hi Virgo, welcome if you're new to the community and welcome back if you are returning. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus placements. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest behind for someone else. All right, Virgo, let's hop into your reading here. Great Spirit of the Most High, I call upon you now asking for the most divine messages for Virgo. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm currently. And we seek the messages for Virgo's highest good and the highest good of all of those that are involved. All right. Let's hop right in. We're going to clarify each of these. I'll get your spread out here, Virgo. And we'll go from there. We have the Hermit coming out for you reversed, which is your energy. We have the Two of Wands reversed. The death reversed. The wheel of fortune. The emperor reversed. Wow, there's a lot of major arcanas here. And the knight of pentacles reversed. All right, so let's get into this because we have what? One, two, three, four major arcanas out of six cards. Okay, what is going on with you here, Virgo? Let's get into this, okay? So, excuse me. All right. So let's get into these major arcanas here. Lots of change that is happening for you. Your life is shifting in some sort of way. And some of you are stepping into your power 100%. Some of you are also coming out of hiding in some sort of way. But you might need to go back in and do a little bit more work. I feel like you're just, some of you may just be scratching the surface and doing some of the work that you actually need to do because you may be ignoring, okay? You may be ignoring something that um, you know that you need to change in, in some sort of way. And this may be revolved around someone because I feel like for months and months, I feel like this whole year, Virgo, it has been about your relationships in some way. A person that you're dealing with are multiple people. But then the most important part is your relationship with yourself. And that's what this Hermit is about is that relationship with you and how you um, are a reflection of the relationships that are around you and how you can people are a reflection of you and how you can work through some of those things by sort of dissecting their behaviors. Okay. So some of you are in this place of, you know, know that something needs to end, but you're refusing it in some sort of way. You're refusing to, you know, change this cycle of behaviors and events that are definitely going on in your life. So let's, let's, let's dive into this here. Your overall energy is the hermit reversed. Okay, so this is saying that you may not be following wise advice. I don't know what that wise advice looks like for you, but there's there's something that you're not listening to. I feel like some of you have an inner knowing about something, but you're not quite listening to that. Either you're confused or you want to do things your way. Not sure what that is, but the hermit reverse could also come off as a foolish a foolish behavior or a foolish person in some sort of way, someone who is immature. And I feel like the immaturity is stemming from you really not listening to what your intuition is trying to tell you. So spirit is saying that you might need more introspection to gain more wisdom through whatever this is. Okay. So the number nine, because the hermit is connected to the number nine, this is about ending cycles. So it's time for some sort of change here. And that may sound, you know, uncomfortable for some of you, that, you know, you have to go through some sort of completion. And some of you are completing a level, an aspect of yourself, like letting go of that. Some of you are letting go of relationships as well. But there's something that you're trying to, to attain that you may be avoiding and you, or you may find yourself in the void. But your spirit wants to end a cycle, but some of you are not allowing that to happen. So let's see what else is coming up for you here. Why is the hermit here for Virgo? <clears throat> we have the Ace of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed, okay? So there is, there's some, okay, there's some negativity that may be going on in some of your lives that is preventing you from really seeing the truth because you may just be distracted by what's going on in the moment and, and it's taken away from you actually doing your work to really get a clear picture of what actually is happening, okay? So it feels like more of a distraction that may be happening for some of you that you're not seeing a clear picture. You may be lacking wisdom at this time, 
And you might have moments where you're like your victories are short lived where you're like, okay, I won. I won this battle. Okay. But it shouldn't even be about winning and losing. This could definitely be a very chaotic and destructive behavior that some of you could be engaging in. Okay. So you have to work through something. Okay. Work through whatever this is um, that keeps coming up for you because you are feeling unfulfilled in some sort of way here, Virgo, but I feel like it's a continued cycle that you keep that you're that you're going and like you're not there's something that you're not fully seeing or something that you're fully not letting go of or ready to let go of and i feel like it keeps you in this narrow mind frame or it, it, it i feel like it keeps you on you focused on whatever is right in front of you that's distracting you from really doing what you need to do to recover to heal from whatever because the ten of swords is about healing and recovery and coming back from things that have caused some sort of trauma or drama or whatever in your life so that you can restore and regenerate your energy. It is about a new beginning and moving on from something and there's there's growing pains involved in this but there is a stagnation that is happening with this hermit in reverse here. Okay, So some of you may be experiencing that this month and needing to go back into introspection so that you can sort of understand what's really happening. What's really happening is not really happening. Okay, so what's happening on the surface is not what's happening under the surface. So pay attention to what is triggering you is what Spirit is saying here. Okay, <clears throat> some of you are um, dependent upon, I'm feeling like some of you are seeing um, like a therapist or a counselor. And some of you are dependent upon their word instead of doing your work. So their words may not be matching your vibration. Like you are the only person that know what you need to do for yourself and your life here, Virgo. It's great to get perspective. It's great to talk about it. But are you really seeing the big picture? Are you really getting the clear picture? Because right now with the Hermit, it's like you're, you're either some of you are in a dark place or you're in the middle of something and you're going back and forth and you haven't quite, you're not quite seeing the light just yet. Okay. So I feel like you're still going through the motions. So this seems like a month of continued growth for some of you, whatever that looks like, whether that is in your relationships or um, your interpersonal relationship uh, with yourself or, you know, in a job, whatever this is, it's a constant growing phase for you here, Virgo. Some, yeah, the distraction is coming through really strongly, okay? You're definitely distracted um, to something that... It's definitely not certain. It's definitely keeping you from what is actually really happening underneath the surface. Okay, a challenge or obstacle that may come up for you is the two of wands energy is here. So this is you um, setting the wrong intentions for something. There's a back and forth that could be happening. <laughs> things are not clear, like I just said, which is the reason why the Hermit is inviting you to go back into introspection because something's not clear. You may find yourself being impatient or making hasty decisions or planning things, rushing into something that like you're indecisive, but still making things happen. Okay, that's it's it's a very conflicting energy to be unsure about something, but still do it. And OK, so it. It, it's confusing. I'm sure it's probably confusing how I just said it. Some of you may understand. I understand it internally, but it's like, okay, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to do this because I think it's right. And it's totally not the right thing. So this is why introspection is very important for you doing this month. Let's get some clarifiers on this two of wands reversed. Get some more energy around that. The tower reversed and the queen of pentacles. Now we have another major arcana, which would, that makes five. You guys are going through it. Something. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles coming up for you. So you're 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 feeling stuck, but I feel like the I feel like the universe is spirit, source, God, whatever it is that you call it, this higher being. A higher energy is sort of pushing things out of your way and it's making you feel uncomfortable and I feel like you're like I feel like I don't know 
I know and I don't know. There's so many feelings that I'm feeling right now here, Virgo. I feel like you you want to rebuild, but some of you are wanting to just rebuild. You need or you're needing to rebuild yourself, but you're trying to rebuild something that's not that's not supposed to be revealed. And I and this brings me back to a thought when Spirit just rem reminded me of. I believe in your last reading, we talked about uh, what I saw in your channel message. Your channel messages was a glass shattering and you're trying to put the pieces back together, but it long, no longer fits. Those pieces are missing. It's there was, it's always going to be obscured. Um, it's, I mean, it's always going to be skewed because you can't fully see through it because there are cracks in it. And then there are pieces that, you know, don't belong that you've just tried to make fit. Like... It feels like that same energy is still coming up for you here, Virgo. I feel like you're going to try to make something happen regardless of what it is that you're challenged by. But I don't know if this... I don't know if this is what you should be pushing or forcing because it really does feel like you need to focus on yourself. And... It feels like there is going to be a recovery period or a wake-up call that is going to happen for you where you're not going to have a choice but to sit down. So I hope that this doesn't resort to health issues or anything because you're trying to push through something. And remember, people take stress for granted. Stress is like the number one killer in the world. It could be number two. I don't know. But no, stress, because stress creates disease. Stress creates all kinds of ailments, right? So... Don't take stress for granted, okay? If you're feeling, find some sort of outlet, okay? And I think that's what some of you are struggling with. And uh, again, you're trying to push through something that's not supposed to be forced in this moment, okay? So um, you have to think about, Virgo, what that looks like for you, what you keep, you know, what you keep pressing up against and you keep pushing it away and it feels harder and harder to make happen because it's not meant to happen ever or right now, okay? Where you're headed is a death in reverse. So a, a death is all about transformation, but some of you may be refusing to accept um, something that is coming to an end, a relationship, um, a job, a career. And for some of you, this could be life of someone around you as well, Scorpio energy here with the death card, but you're refusing to accept something coming to an end. Some of you are continually indulging in, you know, past memories and behaviors and not really, you know, letting yourself move forward. These just literally just flew out of the deck, okay? There's some disappointment. Um, there's resistance to change that is coming up for some of you. I, I even feel an emotion around, around this, and I also feel frustration. Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So this is heartbreak for some of you. This could be in a relationship, infidelity going on. This could be friendships broken apart, your relationships with your family members or your friends, uh, whatever this is, or like I said, a job or business, it doesn't matter. But something that you've been working on, investing time and energy into, I feel like it's coming to an end. And some of you know that it's coming to an end and you're refusing to just let it happen. You're trying to make it work. Well, let me try this, okay? Let me try this. It's like... It's the same thing. It's the same. It's almost like the same analogy as the glass breaking and you're putting it back together. Instead of just letting the glass be broke, sweep it up and throw it in the trash, you're trying to put it back together. You're trying to put it back together and it's never going to look the same, feel the same. It's not going to have the same uh, same beauty. There are going to be things that are missing. There are going to be holes in it as well, right, as you're trying to glue it back together. So things are going to be, if you try to put something into, if it's a glass, a glass vase or whatever, you try to put fluid into it, it's going to seep out. Like things, is, it's not going to be contained. Like everything is just going to be, like, it's 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 not going to work. I'm just keep it, I'm going to just keep it real. So whatever you're trying to force right now here at Virgo, it's not going to work. And you have the ability to change it. I'm giving you a universal message of you're trying to force, force something that is no longer meant. There is a, a there's a imbalance there. And I get that some of you are going to be, some of you are afraid of losing something or losing someone. But this Three of Swords is saying that there is pain, there's heartbreak, disappointment, there's loss coming up, um, uh, catharsis for some of you. This is why taking care of your health, your mental health, your physical health is very important. You're releasing emotions, so it's a healing time for you, something that you've put a lot of time and energy into. Some of you have put money into something. It's going to be time to let this go.
Okay, so stop refusing, stop worrying, stop resisting the change. The universe will provide a way for you. Okay, it feels like something new that wants to open up to uh, you want to open up to, but there's a resistance there because there may be a level of control that you're trying to because maybe you had control in the past. You don't have that same kind of control anymore. That's let, that lets you know that the universe is intervening and it's time for that to go. It's time for that to move out, okay? And your near future is the will of fortune. <clears throat> so things are going to be changing. And because the tower is here and it's upright, it's sudden change. But you're resisting the change, right? So... It is the inevitable that things are going to change. There's going to be some sort of turning point that happens during this month. And it's a turning point for the better. It may feel uncomfortable. It may be hurtful. It may feel like loss. But in the end, it's, it's, a, it's a good fortune. Okay. It's, it's a cycle that has to change in order for you to create, in, in order for you to attain, attain um, your, uh, your destiny on this part of the journey. Right. Okay, we're always on the journey. I do feel that we do reach parts of our destiny, but we stay on the journey. Okay, so there's something that you're wanting to attain or need to attain or your soul is needing to attain. And I feel like that is going to be the inevitable coming up for you. Okay, it feels like um, through the people that you're holding on to or something that you're holding on to, there's a lot of lessons. There's a lot of things that it has, has taught you. It's very interesting here. But this is definitely a new beginning, like, uh, like you, you ending something to create something new. Whatever this is here, Virgo, it's, you cannot change it and you don't have any control of whatever this is. Four of Wands reversed and then the Six of Pentacles. So this has something to do with a marriage or relationship in general. This has something to do with your children. This is also family in general. There is, there's, there's something here. Let's fill into this. And look, we have the four and we have six, which equals 10. Some of you may be seeing 10, 10. So look at the number, the angel number 10, 10. See what that means for you. Let us know what that means in the description box below. Angel numbers are beautiful numbers, but they just let us know about transitions that are happening. So <clears throat> letting this go, Virgo, brings a level of clarity, peace, harmony um, in your life because there is, a, and there is an unstable foundation that is occurring in your lives right now and some of you um, are trying to hold on to it because of you want to make it work or you're scared of the unknown of what's on the other side of letting it go. But I feel like you would be blocking your blessings if you're holding on to whatever this is. And whatever this is, Virgo, that you're feeling so strongly about and you're confused about, this is your clarity. If it resonates with you, then this message is for you. Because it definitely feels like things from the past, something you've been holding on to or a person you've been holding on to and there's been a level of comfort um, in this connection or this dynamic in some way and it just feels like things have changed things have changed and things are going to be changing again I'm going to leave that one at that in your near future the change is real okay there's nothing that you can really do about it except for be in acceptance of um, what the next part of the journey is your advice is the emperor reversed So some of you may be feeling, you may feel challenged. You may be feeling challenged right now. Okay, challenged by someone. This could be an authority figure. Police, judge, uh, a lawyer, I don't know. <clears throat> Your parent. But there is a challenge that's coming up for you. And some of you may find your, yourselves in this position again of trying to control um, and, and taking things to the extreme and um, lacking discretion and 
mismanaging things and being judgmental and being in a position of, of being unfair or unjust in some sort of way. Let me clarify this. Why is the Emperor in reverse here? The King of Wands. I'll take all these. Or both of these, I should say. We have the uh, Five of Pentacles reversed. It's funny, Virgo, because you're kind of like the only Zodiac that has had cards fly out of the deck this go-around and the Chariot reverse. More Major Arcana is very interesting. I'm clarifying the Emperor. Some of you are definitely dealing with someone who is uh, an authority figure in some sort of way. <clears throat> oh. Again, there's um, there's some uncertainty about the future that is coming up, but uh, Spirit is asking you to let yourself be in this place of relief and letting go of the things that feel difficult, things that need to be improved in your life. Um, not trying to get back at someone because remember we have the three of swords so make sure you're not in a place of revenge <laughs> okay things are going to get better but there is some sort of challenge in that within that things are going to get better but there is a challenge within whatever this is that is going to take you to the next level so I do feel a level of confidence after that will of fortune <coughs> of letting things just sort of um, organically make its own turning point, right? Make Let things happen organically. Um, there is a back and forth with your level of control trying to kick in and trying to make things happen, trying to make things work. Um, I feel like that that is part of the challenge, but Spirit is asking you to just sort of just be in this moment, kind of like the hermit, go into introspection. Let me feel more from this. Be honest with yourself, kind of like this King of Wands energy. And this could be someone being honest with you here about yourself. I don't know. Or this could be energy that you're embodying of being a good communicator excuse me, someone who's expressive and passionate, inspires others and very charismatic. But I look at this too, and the King of Wands is also an authoritative, authoritative figure. We also have the Emperor here. I don't know if it's like bowing, it's like bowing down to someone. It feels like a challenge. It feels like it's going to be something outside of your norm that's going to make you feel uncomfortable, but it may be an opportunity for you to listen and so that you can grow. So could it be someone you get an advice from someone? Could be, like I said, a spiritual advisor, a counselor, therapist, whatever. And they're sort of showing you who you are. And it's like you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt instead of being defensive. And I feel like this is part of your growth, whatever this is. So it could be a conversation that you're having with someone and they could be sharing with you how they feel or how you show up with them, how you treat them, whatever the case may be. And I feel like it's kind of like, it's almost like a wake up call. Okay. I feel like it slows you down and in, in for a second, the chariot where it's like chariot is usually takes action and is all moving on. But I feel like it kind of like, puts you in the place where you have to reflect, which is why we started this, the overall energy of with the hermit, of you needing more introspection. So I feel like it puts you in a position of reflecting about, um, reflecting on who you are and how you've shown up and maybe even understanding that's not who you are, that's not who you want to be anymore, okay? So really take accountability for the things that are said and done during this time is kind of like your is I mean it's your advice if, so that you can really make a change for yourself here Virgo your final outcome is the Knight of Pentacles reversed I'm gonna pull some cards around that um, 
make sure you're not in a position where you're like overly cautious about things like oh does this mean a sign does this mean something and you go looking for something you go forcing things to happen again just sort of take your time in whatever this is okay take a time take the time to stand still okay to, to stand still and to not overindulge in things where you really take where you're taking away from what you're supposed to be actually experiencing Four of Swords, or, uh, yeah, Four of Swords. So um, Ten of Pentacles, Reverse, and then the Four of Swords. Clarifying the King of Pen the Knight of Pentacles, Reverse. So we go, okay, we have Knight and Ten of Pentacles. So definitely things that are revolving around um, your family. Some of you are needing to be cautious of and take a little bit of time. If some of you are a, a workaholic, some of you could even be in this position of being irresponsible because there's so much going on, um, burnt out, um, quite a few things here. It Because it definitely feels like this is um, a familial disunion that some of you are experiencing, whether that is in a relationship or that that's what your children or your family in general, blood are chosen. And, and it feels like you may be in a position where you may feel ostracized from people um, or you may even yeah you may feel ostracized from people because it definitely feels like things are changing and then there's a lot of conflict and there's just like an influx of emotions that are coming up maybe even new financial situations that are coming up for you that is making you feel disconnected and not satisfied with life and it is it has some sort of impact on your family your relationships in, in general but this four of swords here Again, bringing me back to an energy of illness and battling something. So remember, keeping your stress levels down because that manifests into dis-ease, okay? So withdrawing, letting go of negativity, taking, or taking some relaxation, take some time to relax. So maybe some of you need a little solo vacation or something because you definitely need to recuperate. This is a recovery period during the month of July because there has been a lot going on. And I feel like Virgo, you want to get it right before your birthday. <laughs> You want to enjoy yourself. You want everything to be in alignment because you want to be celebrated when that time comes around. But there's a lot of things for you to sift through right now. It feels uncomfortable and overwhelming that I'm getting that energy from you. Like, why does this keep happening? Why has it been so long? Um, and it has been long. It has been long for a lot of people out here. At, at every zodiac sign, people are struggling mentally, emotionally, and physically. And so you're not alone in this, but it's just, this is, these are things that you can do to overcome whatever energy that you're in. So paying attention to your stress levels is very important for you during this month and finding some sort of outlet that's going to keep you in a place of balance, which also seems to be a common thing amongst all of the readings that I've done thus far is really taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit because there are health issues that can arise due to your stress levels. Um, you're not taking care of yourself. So that is very important. So you're going to be working through some familial, like I said, um, disconnections or disunions during this month. And just take everything with a grain of salt here. Things are going to change for you and it's going to feel uncomfortable. That is just the inevitable. That's part of life. But it's a matter of what do you do with the lessons and how you move forward. Okay, so that is your reading, Virgo. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonates with you, like and comment below. Share this with your family and friends. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy the month of July, and I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.